Hey guys, tonight we're at Busch Gardens Williamsburg for their Halloween harvest event. We are at the 8 p.m. to midnight time slot, so it's gonna be a little scary, hopefully. They have uh, scare zones and scare actors, but it is raining, so hopefully that doesn't change any of that. But they have four roller coasters open. They have Apollo's Chariot, Verbolton, Loch Ness Monster, and Tempesto. Yep, and the earlier time slots are a little more family friendly, so they have trick-or-treating instead of scares. And hopefully we don't get too wet tonight, and we'll see you inside. There's a big skull at the entrance to greet you. And here's the map for the Halloween Harvest event. As you can see, Loch Ness Monster, Ireland, Tempesto, Apollo's Chariot, and then Verbolton. Now we're on our way to Oktoberfest area to ride Verbolton. But they have the spooky lights here too. We haven't seen any scare actors yet. I think it's because it's raining. We found some scare actors by Verbola. They got Julia pretty good. She screamed. Here's the trick-or-treating during the afternoon and morning. They put it down this tube. And the candy comes out. No line, verbal. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the German meatballs. The meatballs are good, but they're, Julie said they have an interesting flavor, but they're pretty good. Here's a big pumpkin decoration right in the entrance to Ireland and Finnegan's Flyer. Over here in Ireland, you can get a shrimp po' boy, fish and chips, or cheddar hush puppy. Right next to Finnegan's Flyer. So we got the shrimp po' boy and the cheddar hush puppy. Out of the two, which one did you like the best? Mm, probably the hush puppy. They're pretty good. So initial thoughts. We've been here an hour. We've ridden two rides, Apollo, Chariot, and Verbolton. We've eaten three things. We've only seen three scare actors though, and those three were at Verbolton. Um, we've walked around the whole park that's open the parts that are open, and those are the only three we've seen. It's not busy. Loch Ness Monster. It's a big skull and some tombstones. So it's the next day. We had a long drive last night, but we ended up doing seven rides and we tried uh, three different of the specialty foods and we there was two different areas uh, where the scare actors were. Yeah, so we had a great time. We just wish there was more scare actors. We're not sure how much was affected by the rain, but there wasn't as many scare actors as we would have hoped and, and not as much areas. So in our opinion, if you don't live that close, you might as well just go to one of the earlier time slots. The only thing you'll be missing out is the few scares that they have scattered around the park. But a plus is that you will be able to trick or treat and get some candy. And on that note, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.